guys, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning us to the channel. Um, bit of a quick review today of, of this tank, the AMX 30B. I've already covered this, obviously, on the channel, but it's currently available, or by the time you're watching the video, it may not be available anymore in the World of Tanks Blitz auction. It's selling really, really fast. At, uh, there's about 550 left as I'm saying this right here right now might be less than 500 by the end of the video but yeah it is it's a great tank it's a tier 10 enriched french medium tank um, has a cupola on top sticking out that is uh, the obvious weak point on the tank it is a medium tank which means that the armor that it has is mostly on the front um, not so much on, on, on the side. You can side grip at a pinch with it, with, which you can do actually with all the tanks in the game. Uh, shots can get caught on the trucks, of absorbing all the damage. But this tank is a rich fighter. This uh, spots like this, uh, the hill on Castilla, the hills on Dead Rail, uh, hills basically everywhere. That's where you will want to be. If you are driving an AMX 30B, and everybody who has been a regular to the channel has seen this before probably i have a few uh videos online on the amx 30b and yes because it is a medium tank and, and this shot you, you can't could have probably maybe gotten away with it uh, commander doggy with without getting shot from the t62a um, i think you probably figured that t62a would shoot a bit earlier so we decided to, to risk it um did take a shot um but yeah he, he now realizes they have to push over here and this is a good thing, if you can get caught out in a dogfight on the other side of the Castilla, then you are in trouble. His side has uh, the better spawn position, which is kind of good, but they don't really have any tank destroyers on the ridges on the northern side. The southern side has a worse spawn position compared to north. And that's, this is annoying. This is an unfortunate bounce on the front of the WZ111GFT, which means that he needs two shots to clear the tank now, and he carefully maneuvers around the WZ, does not back up, but <laughs> that is even more annoying. Bounce on the back of the tank, and he does clear it now, but he would have been able to clear it just a little bit quicker, and then he would have been able to get a few more shots off onto this Leopard PJ, who is fully upgraded. But as far as paper tanks go in tier 9 and 10, this is pretty much one the Leopard PTA. The, the AMX 30B has no problems chewing through that tank as you can see here. What do you have then to work with? Well, there's um, currently two uh, enriched tier 10 medium tanks on the game. Yeah, they have the T22 medium and the AMX 30B. And the T22 medium being a bit of a, well, heavy in disguise. But I digress, this tank, the AMX 30B, that's a full-blown medium. And I like the stuff that Commander Doggy is doing here. He's, you, can, you could say that, well, why are you trying to drive up that hill? You know you can't get up there. No, what he's trying to do here is proxy spot that T-62A. He was hoping that the T-62A would come towards him, would come to hunt him. And if you then proxy spot him, I mean, uh, a 62A has bad gun depression. It has been buffed, obviously, but... Still shooting down that uh, that slope, that would not be possible. And this shot is not going to go in. <laughs> About the only chimney on the whole freaking roof. <laughs> and he shoots it. And he is now proxy spotted by the T-62A. He spots the T-62A, but then realizes straight away he's proxy spotted himself. And will he be able to clear the T-62A? The T-62A is not paying attention because he's thinking, right, Commander Doggy is moving up on towards the Castilla. I can probably help my teammates pushing that waffle tractor but you can see that uh, 62a is taken out this shot on the conway will probably yeah that, it at least hit not sure if it penetrated but it at least hit and uh commander has to do a uh, an all-out rosinia now <laughs> one versus four clutch situation in an amx 30b will he be able to do that will he be the king of the hill and I've been sent a fair few good AMX 30B games, and that's because this tank is a, a pretty darn good one. So if your game is not in this video, please do not be mad at me. It is, as I said, a good vehicle. It, it packs a uh, 1850 hit point pool, which is about the normal tier 10 mediums. The view range is 307 uh, with all the uh, bells and whistles when you have optics on it and, and you have full food on the tank. 
Your DPM is a uh, tad on the lowish side, only quote unquote only 3k, which is about the least of the tier 10 mediums currently available. But obviously, the, uh, obviously the leopard uh, being on top. But the tier 10 medium tanks, that, that's a very contested area to be the king in, basically. So this tank then trades a little bit of DPM for having good penetration on APCR 250 to 95 on heat, bit on the lowest side, so you might want to swap your uh, gun rammer for calibrated shells, which drops your DPM obviously even lower. But you do have quite a good gun. The base aim time is not spectacular. The dispersion factors are not spectacular, but you do have good gun oppression. And your dispersion, uh, when rotating the turret, that's actually quite good. And it's a quick tank, 65 kilometers forward, 23 backwards. It has a really good power to weight ratio, which means that this tank is a very flexible one. Um, and having a flexible tank makes the game um, easier to ma manipulate. If you have really good DPM, but you have got off of this version aim time and, and gun depression you can't really use all the positions in the map then that dpm is not effective and this dpm sure is effective and uh, when an is it has a damaged ammo rack it is even more effective but there are two there's one tank on the cap 70 71 that's a really high cap pop goes the turret that's a really high cap over there that's big cap pressure he is gonna load the heat shells here commander doggy and will he be able to reset no oh, no that one misses or bounces he is loading the heat now yeah but ap cell was the first shot the e100 is gonna roll in as well he might be able to reset just one tank 90 ah, ah. yeah i guess that last shot in for just over 6500 damage and five kills yeah team oh. Very intense game, 6,776 damage dealt, 1,627 base XP and two donuts on the green team. Oh, guys, what a heartbreaker. What a heartbreaker. He, he actually sent me this game and said, this is a great way to start off the new year. <laughs> and I was thinking, this is going to be a win. <laughs> but when the team lets you down like that with two donuts in tier 9, well, that's, that's just... That's just pretty annoying. But Min One Man 109, which is, I think, supposed to be Mini Man 109 in the MX 30B, he is going to have a stroke of luck in the uh, on his team and basically on the red team as well. He is on Oasis uh, camps, as you can see, where uh, he drives into a rock, a very big one as well. But uh, his team is uh, uh, camping. They are moving into the town into a side scraping position. He's getting some help from a chieftain uh, in a second. And I like actually that he did not rush forward too quickly. And you can see he's just very slowly circumventing the map shooting this T124 who uh, had then spots him. And his T124 ventured forward into, um, into the, the red spawn, into the desert basically. And he's gonna stick his gun up, which looks ridiculous, but um, that does not prevent <laughs> Miniman from shooting the cupola. It's a good trick to do. They just stick up your gun. They might shoot the gun that does not do any damage whatsoever. That's an HE short. I think that E4 would have been better off trying to fire AP. He has better muzzle velocity if that shot would have hit the cupola. That would have hurt. But so far, it's one minute into the game and the teams are spread out, as you can see. But the spider senses of Miniman are tingling and this WZ-1-1 makes the cardinal mistake of pushing as a lone tank into two tanks which are, well, a full health AMX 30B and a fairly healthy Chieftain Mark VI. And that means that even with the buff reload on the WZ-1-1, you will not survive, as aptly demonstrated here. And the T124 then makes the mistake of not completely falling back into red enemy lines. Because he's gonna stay over there. You, you can see what uh, he's doing over here, Mini Man. He's moving forward. He's not spotted by the T95. He's then gonna use the ridges just enough to not get spotted. He's very wary. There's an object 268 on the red team, but they haven't spotted him yet. And talking about cardinal mistakes, take a look at what his chieftain is gonna do in uh, just a few seconds. He's gonna push in. Uh, massively and, and he's he's gonna pay you for it with a lot of hit points 
big HE sale from the T124 straight through the lower plate, I think, of the AMX 30B. Because, as I said, it, it, it is still a medium tank. Your armor is, well, basically nowhere except on the lower parts of the turret front, which isn't even thick to begin with. It's 120 uh, nominal thickness, and in fact, if you can get it up to 200, maybe, yeah, to 65. The top plate is only 80 mils, which can be uh, penetrated fairly easily. But once it's slow backwards, it uh, certainly helps. The gun man, that's thickish. And that front plate, that's really thin, 55 mils, 40 mils on uh, the top part where the driver sits. And the lower glasses plate, that is only 30 mils. And that's probably where we got penetrated with AC, or maybe even on the first part of the lower plate at 70. That's where Miniman took a big hit from the T124. That front plate, however, is sloped backwards. So if you can keep your gun within the... Uh, within uh, uh, the, the drive wheels left and right and you can then work that uh, gun depression you're looking at an effective armor of 230 on the first part of the of the front plate and 310 on the top part so that's only the tier 10 tank destroyers that will really hurt you and and you have to worry about tier 10 tank destroyers anyway shout out to uh, a pikachu in the e35 can't uh, kill a ball but uh, he, he went down fighting I mean, he, he took out an IS-4 just before he went down, and that means there's, that there is just a FE215B left, a T95, and still the W268. We haven't seen him yet. Where is he? And Miniman makes makes a good move here. He decides not to sit in the middle because that object 268 is not spotted. He decides to go together with the uh, FE215B with the Death Star, gets a clutch shot into the side of the FE215B. The T95 is probably still in the town area, but apparently not push pushing through the cap area. This FE then blunders forward, takes a big hit from the Death Star, of, from the FE215B. But luckily, he puts a shot into the tier 10 British heavy tank as well, which means that Miniman then can clear him for a total at the moment of 4,308 damage dealt. But where's the T95? Is he, is he still in the middle? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Going on the ridge? Ooh, down for 268 all. Oh lordy, do we have an AFK tier 10 tank destroyer? Oh, look at the turret of the AMX 50B. And this is a stupid move. I mean, it's a heavy tank destroyer, you know. Rushing into him, you're bumping into him, and you're down to three hit points. <laughs> why? Oh, why? That that means that you're not very flexible uh, now anymore. And that means that he has to run away. He has no more hit points to to to, to use basically as army. He has no room to, to play around and this uh Afi luckily clears the t95 through the lower play probably maybe maybe on the cupola and that means that it's it's now time for miniman to go hunting that object to six eight and in the previous game on castilla we we had two non-performing players on the green team with donors but luckily we have an uh, an afk object 268 sitting in a uh, spawn right over there and I mean, Miniman can't push in now, he can't just lock himself uh, right up to the edge of the uh, 268, but he is well and truly AFK, as you can see. Trying to do a HE shots through the side, will not work, just keep shooting APCR. Uh, sucks to be on the red team on this one, but we've all been there where we had AFKs on our team or on the red team, and uh, yeah, he, he can farm this one for some easy damage now. And that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen, Tangles of Bit Universe. Review of the AMX 30B. If you want to have one <laughs> and you have to go to spare it, go get it now. If, if it's still available in the auction. Because it will not come to the store any cheaper than 70k of gold, bar a snow globe where you get it for free or a chest or whatever or coat or uh, well, whenever you might win it. 70k would be the lowest they will go to sell this tier 10 French enriched medium tank. A goodbye, in my opinion. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Great Universe. I'll catch you all on the next video. Bye-bye.